watching us. Are we the people responsible for the chaos that is enveloping America? That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. The folks are indeed responsible for the government they get. Germans could have thrown Hitler out. They did not. Russians fought hard for Stalin. The Chinese surrendered to Mao. The Cubans allowed Fidel Castro to take away their liberty. The folks are responsible. And now Americans are faced with a citizen challenge, not at the levels of totalitarianism, but a very serious economic situation. Yesterday, the Government Accountability Office, the nonpartisan investigative arm of Congress, released its annual audit of the U.S. government. The report covers the fiscal years 2011 and 12. The conclusion of the report is this, quote, Absent policy changes, the federal government continues to face an unsustainable fiscal path. Let me repeat that. Absent policy changes, the federal government continues to face an unsustainable fiscal path. If the feds do not stop the wild spending and do not reform Medicare and Social Security, the U.S. dollar will collapse. That means that all of our savings, all of our investments, our homes, and everything else will blow up before our eyes. Now, chances are you will not hear about the GAO's report today, except on this program. The liberal media will not tell you what is going on. The reason? The President Obama does not, does not want to cut federal spending or reform entitlements. That is crystal clear. And the media loves President Obama. So the folks be damned. This is like telling people standing on a beach, hey, a tsunami's coming. And if you don't move, you're going to be killed. But the beach folks say, I like it here. I'm not moving. And then eventually the wave sweeps them away. That's exactly what's happening now. We're living in a country that's polarized. We're also living in a country that is becoming addicted to machines, the Internet. We discussed that last night. Many American citizens, perhaps most, are now too lazy to pay attention to their country. They're selfish, caught up in individual pursuits. Thus, the federal government has been allowed by the we the people to get out of control. Last year, the Fed spent $1.1 trillion more than the government took in. That is grossly irresponsible. The debt now approaching $17 trillion. President Obama, the biggest spending chief executive in history. So, I have to play Paul Revere here. I have to continue to tell you the truth. But I also believe many Americans simply will not listen. And even worse, they are not smart enough, not smart enough to even care. Disaster could be coming.